Okay, so today we're working on a 2023 BRZ of Tommy's. So he just got it not too long ago. And I'm gonna try it pretty long ago. Oh. I've been very lazy with this. He's, he's got it a long time ago, but he started driving it just recently. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, he wanted to get it PPF'd and a bunch of other stuff. He had to wait for that. And then he's been driving it really slowly, breaking into a thousand miles. Uh, but he wants to get a dash cam installed. And he also wants to do his radar detector in the car so the dash cam that we actually got is over here viofo or i don't know i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it but it's a a229 front and rear duo one yeah it's a duo so we'll put like a link in there if you want to buy all this stuff and whatever we are uh, we're possibly missing that we need but it has a hardwire kit so it has constant power accessory power uh, so if, you know, someone hits the car while the car's off, it will record the event. They do include a little, where is it, USB if you want to just cheat and like run this into this little thing. But I don't know if that will do the um, parking like G-Sensor stuff if you use a USB. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and try and do this. Yeah, I will say this was like, it didn't come with it, it was like an optional add-on. Yeah, so, so you only like get the camera and this, and I think yep, those this things, stuff yeah. here. Correct. Yep. And then this stuff is all optional, so you'll need to go ahead and get this if you want to do this, like uh, we're going to do in the video. So that's what we got. And also first thing, comes with the pry oh, tool, which is kind of cool. A little pry tool, mm -hmm. but I think what we're going to do is go out to the car, try and figure out where the fuse is that we need to use, and then come back to you and explain what we're doing. So. So this is Tommy's car here. Let's walk around and show you. 2023, gosh, where are they? It's not limited, it's limited. Yeah, limited's the higher trim. But that's the car. Everyone's here at work on a weekend, washing, doing some basic stuff. Tommy is in here. Feeling, apparently I didn't even need to take out that bolt. He doesn't know what he's really doing, but. Nope. You know, we're here to learn with you. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but the fuse panel is on this side of the car. So it's going to mount it up over there, run it down this A pillar, down into here, and then we're going to find which fuses we need. Okay, Tommy, what did we discover? So the dash cam needs like constant power. So I assume that's for like the parking mode. And mm -hmm. then it needs an accessory power as well. So that when you turn the car on, uh, the, the thing will like turn on like fully, I guess. And so um, the fuse box, like I said, is back under here. It's, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's right there. Yep. yep. So on the fuse box, there's this little cover thingy. And so the one you want to use for the accessory, so like when you turn the car on, uh, the dash cam will turn on, is radio. Um, so the seven and a half amp radio one. And then um, for the one that is constant on or always on is stop. So both of those are seven and a half amps and uh, we use the multimeter um, and just put it like each of the fuses here have a um, little metal thing that I could have, you know, touched to test. So with the car off, I touched the little um, red one on the, on the multimeter um, to, to the fuse and it was on like it, it read. And then uh, we tried it on the radio one with the car still off and it wasn't showing anything. Put the car in accessory mode and then boom, it was on. And yeah, that's it. So, Perfect. Yeah, radio, so now, stop. Start there and backwards. Or, I don't know. Actually, so you don't want excess up here, huh? Yeah, think of it like wiring a desk, Tommy. Yeah. How do you want you, where do you not want the excess? So where do you want it planned? So, so excess down there, definitely. Yeah, because you can easily bundle up any excess and zip tie it down there, but it's going to be kind of a mess up there. Should we? Do you want to mount? You want to mount your dash cam so you can figure out the probably the exact location. The loop yeah. of the wire. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you get a mirror mount? Uh, what do you mean? For the the R three, did you get a mirror mount? No, no, I'm just going to run the suction cup. It actually works pretty well, and I don't know, it hasn't failed me yet, so. Maybe eventually, but actually, like, if I do a mirror mount, it'll be here. I don't like that as much. I, yeah, you I can't really get access like to your home link either, really. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, I'm just gonna get this out of running and clean the interior later. 
Normally you should probably spray into a towel, but I've never cleaned the glass before. <laughs> and it's been tinted. I have 70% tint on the front. So Okay, well I'm not gonna oh wow, I'm not gonna record all that, so we'll come back after we clean the glass and get it mounted. Make sure to do spray, not stream. Yeah. Over there. there. Okay, so, so I cleaned it, invisible glass and a cleaning towel. And then we're putting on like these little uh this is like a Another, you got your tent and you got PPF for your tent, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So you actually stick the cameras to those little things there instead of your actual windshield. Oh, I see what I want it there. So to test the camera angle position, we're just gonna do a little cheater here and plug into the BRZ little cigarette lighter here. Ooh. And if you're like, if you really wanted to, you could do this, but we want to actually hardwire it. So that allows you to plug in and then accessory. Probably would help if I turn the corner. So that's the issue with doing this is it's only, this is only accessory power. It's not constant. So you don't get parking sensor or anything like that. Please insert a memory card. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. I mean, I can't, obviously I could fine tune it, but like of that location right there is good. I feel like. So, gonna mess this up completely. <laughs> it's like a phone screen protector. Yeah. But like, probably not as good. <laughs> it like perfectly fits within the dot matrix. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay. Center of the sticker, parallel with the headliner. Does that look about right? Yeah, looks pretty good. I'm just gonna press and hold for about 15 seconds. Make sure it's really on there. That would be cool, but I don't think they allow you. Is if you're on a track day, you can't leave this, can you? They make you take it out because it can't. It can't be anything on the windshield, right? Um, I thought it'd be so cool to like record track days. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, people people record stuff all the time when they do a track. They use, uh, like, the GPS and stuff. Yeah, GPS logger and stuff. I think it just can't be, like... The biggest issue is something in the footwell, like, like uh, you know, uh, floor mats, so you don't get, like, stuck underneath your brake or your gas. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel like that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Now we just got to run your wire through the headliner. Yeah. There is another USB-C up here. Is that what that is? This little... Yeah? I can't... Yeah. I don't know what for. Can that power it too? So you run it there instead. Uh, oh, it does. That might be cleaner. Run it that way. Yeah. So it's not like this thing coming out the side. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. No one's mentioned that before. So yeah, we'll do that. That looks way better. Yeah, run it up there mm -hmm. so it's super close to the headliner and then uh, run it down that way and yeah. make a super clean install. Cool. Okay, so now we're just tucking the wire. There's a giant ferrule on the wire that you need to yeah, do you want me to pull out tuck in. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, okay. Well, you can kind of see it. Now. I can see it here. There's a ferrule. I'm just gonna kind of pull this down. And so now down. we have to pull back this and tuck the wire in. You can use like probably that little tool they give you to push the wire. Yeah. Along. So. But yeah. General idea is you just run this wire along this whole seam, and then you'll get to this A pillar. So this is what it looks like when it's fully tucked up in here. All the way along. You're gonna go across it. Across here, yeah. And tuck it in there. And then down. Yeah. Sean, you can have it Monday through Thursday. <laughs> Struggling on this. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. What we're gonna do in the video is silence me. Yeah. And oh, then time lapse. Time time lapse. lapse. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say like I'm. So the next step is us getting behind this side panel here. There it goes. You're probably right. Yeah. I always saw them like they're like 400 bucks for like them or something yeah. like that. I was like, this one was what all in like 280, Tommy, 300. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was even that much. All right. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm right where I need to be for the fuse box. So we just 
ran it down this way. Yeah, thank you. So I just back shoved there. it back in there with the little back tool. around that way. I do have a lot There's of There's a bunch of excess, <laughs> so I don't know if, like, maybe you're doing this on a semi-truck or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, um... Probably just bundle this up, zip tie it somewhere underneath, underneath yep. the footwell so you don't hit it with your feet. Yep. And uh, I mean, the rest of it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, still we have, to, have run to do the, the rear, rear camera, yeah. but that's only one wire. Yeah. So. See? So I think what I'm gonna do is like this plastic piece. There's a little bit of kind of hole in this here, so I'll just bunch it up and shove it in there as best I can. So the little like kick panel here. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's not like perfectly hollow, but like I think it's enough to to shove the excess wire. If if not, I can go back down that way. Okay, where's our roadblock, Tommy? Uh, don't solder the wire. <laughs> don't do it. it. Especially that booger type bit. There's not enough room, so I I'm just gonna. We have a ton of excess wire, as you see. So. Luckily, they gave us a ton of extra bonus and I cut this off. Yeah. And so we were trying to be like smart about it and like, hey, let's get rid of the stranded yeah. wire so there's no issues. But these fuses, these like little micro fuses are so tight. There's like no room for the actual tinned wire to fit in. So the wire needs to be stranded wire for it to conform around um, the actual fuse area. In terms of what I did, uh, like, I don't know, say this little piece is the fuse. I shoved this in. The, the fuse holder and then just took the fuse and like shoved it in with there you have to press <laughs> kind of hard but as long as you're you know do a, <laughs> what firm but uh gentle. firm but gentle yeah yeah exactly uh, it should be okay so then uh now i'm doing the accessory which would be the radio so that's the top one on the left or gosh your hand breaks in the way Ooh, yeah there we go. that's the top one on this side right yes right above the 15. That one went in a lot better, and it's in there, so nice. should be good. All right, so I guess <laughs> check for fires and uh, see what happens. So access key not detected. Let's see what we got. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that works. Working. Yeah. Card. Please insert your memory card, Tommy. There we go. Cool. So this is the issue why you can't do an add a fuse. Yeah, because you can't put the cover back on. But now you can. So I guess I got to figure out what I can do with the wires. Uh, push them this way might be the best way to do it. And if you really wanted to, like if you're gonna be anal about this, I guess you could get like a 10 amp fuse and replace it. What do you mean? Uh, like replace your seven and a half with a 10 amp. Oh, uh, sure. Um, but there's like no way this is gonna pull more amperage than what it is. Those amp, uh, those fuses are always just a little bit over what they're rated for it to handle as a short circuit. So yeah, do that if you want. I don't know. But this will be fine. Best way to run here. Yep. And then what is your uh, low voltage set at? Right now it's set at a. What is that? 11? What is the top and the bottom? I don't know what the difference is. Uh, this works with uh, a 24-volt system. So okay. maybe that's like a, like a UTV Got or something. It. So uh, I park at work or at home with this thing. So uh, I'm not too worried about the park thing. So I'm just going to set it to the max voltage. So that means it will shut off the earliest, I assume, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. it will shut off once. The battery gets to 12.4 battery gets 12 volts, so it'll yep. do the low voltage cutoff. Okay, recap. My back hurts. It's working. <laughs> no. Tommy's got some really good glute bridges he's been doing in this yeah. uh, footwell. For some reason, I think there was just like the wire wasn't making contact somewhere, so it wasn't working right. But we're in now. We're good. Just takes a little bit of finagling. So now, be good at yoga. If you look down here, you can see the cover's on. 
the wires on there. It might help maybe, we don't know, maybe if you make the wires a little bit longer to make sure it gets better contact sure. on the, the fuse pins, but you know, it's just gonna take you a while to make sure you get it all right and powered on. So um, I guess we need to test the parking mode. So I'm gonna hit your car with my car <laughs> yeah, and don't. see if it uh, triggers the G sensor. Yeah, <laughs> Um, so yeah, next is rear cam. Yeah. So let's run the wires and do all so that. So rear camera plugs in here, and then it's one wire and we're just gonna run it along the headliner to the back. Okay, so now Tommy is running the additional cable for... Uh, yep, so the, the rear camera comes with uh, two ends, a straight end and a 90 end. So the connection to the rear camera is on the end so it makes sense to put the straight end on this end and the 90 on that end i think it looks cleaner so that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna go up and then over and then once we get to here though i guess i'm a little fuzzy so i might have to dig around some more to see how i can get it yeah so and the one here. problem is about the chase down there's a lot of excess wire here yeah so I, we're gonna get creative and figure yeah. out how to tuck it maybe in the b pillar yeah b pillar or maybe this panel or something you just don't want to like rattle, you know? Correct, yeah, rattling would suck. Um, you know what, like you don't want to hear that wire later on down the road. Yeah, yeah. You can see, Tommy's just running it through this little uh, weather stripping. Getting better, look how much faster I am. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, he's an expert. Yeah. But um, yeah, just run it along this you way. Want me to do it, I charge a thousand. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you have to drive to Florida. Yeah. I mean, I'm very nitpicking right now, but mm. you, can't like you don't want it to like just like fall down later, like you know. Like, sun too is not helping. Okay, so then to... the bulk. Yeah, you just gotta like start feeding. Yeah. I guess I don't think you can loop it. Let's um actually mount the camera. So we're gonna mount the rear camera. So Tommy's putting on the little screen protector. Uh, do you want to clean the window or no? I need to clean the window, but I'm also thinking about cutting this because the sticky is like tiny compared to this. And I kind of don't like, because you can, I mean in the front windshield, like I'm nitpicking, but you can see it from the outside of the car. Yeah. And so, especially in the rear since there's like nothing else hiding it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna cut this actually, just to be a little puck for this to sit on. Beep, beep. I want a card. Feed it a card, Tommy. Yeah. It's hungry for data. Yeah. All right, and then can you hit the triangle thingy so I can see um, the camera? Memory card. I mean, you'll definitely see anyone rear end you. That looks about That's right. Good. Yeah. Okay. So I was struggling to like where to put the excess, and then uh, apparently this panel is like stupid easy to pull out. So I just pulled from this side, it pops out. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's just like a ton of room. So I just shoved all the excess wire in there, making sure that they're behind the tab so I can close this up again. And... It's a pain they don't make them both 90s. That would have been clutch. Yeah. I don't think it looks bad though. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Boom. Nice. Sweet. So now, let's go around to the other side. And get out of here, B. Get. Now, if we look up here. Please insert a memory card. There we go. Boom, look at that. Mm, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Last step. It's a wide angle. Yeah. So last step is the SD card. So I don't know actually why I'm talking. You should, you know more than I do. But basically, you want one that is designed to read and write constantly. So like most SD cards, you're like writing sometimes and then it will read sometimes. But like with the dash cam, it's always you know putting footage onto the card and then. Um, 
it will, I guess, delete it as well as it fills up. Um, you know, the dash cam takes care of that. But you want one that's basically rated like for endurance or, you know, specifically like surveillance and yeah, stuff. Exactly. Like some cards, like it's a big issue if you go on Reddit and you even look it up. Like some cards just don't work with dash cams Correct. at all. Correct. Like it's just mm -hmm. complete failure. And so I don't know what the different standards was. But like isn't V thirty like an important one to look for? Yeah. Or so it's like UHS. So they have like the UHS here. Um, and it's class 10 V30. Mm -hmm. There's like 18 different standards <laughs> that they have going on for like, uh, but. Yeah. So basically, I mean, it sounds bad, but I almost went low to high and found, cause Samsung's like a pretty good brand, reputable. So mm -hmm. found a 256. So I could have gone bigger, but like it gets really expensive the higher, you know, high endurance plus high storage, it gets pretty dang expensive. So I don't remember how expensive this was. I think it was like 50 bucks. I, remember, I can't something remember like something. But yeah, so we're gonna put this in and then we're good. Yep. Solid. Make sure she works. <laughs> yeah. So now that we've put the SD card in, it's on the side here. Um, it only goes in one way. So when you push it in, it'll kind of like make a click and then whatever. And then I grabbed the box cause we need the app um, for, uh, to, you know, connect and view the, the videos. So I'm just gonna scan the QR code there and download the app. So I have an Android. I'm one of the last holdouts here at work. <laughs> Android, but uh, it, they have an iOS app as well. It's putting me in the loop here. Hold on. There we go. Connect. So you can do a live view, which is kind of cool on your phone. Hmm. Nice. And then so there's settings. So please stop recording before doing other operations. So how would I stop recording? Press that one. Wait. Okay. Settings. There we go. So resolution settings. So you could do 1080p 30 or 1440p 30. I'm probably just gonna do 1440p. And then loop recording. So, so that's how long each clip is. I imagine. Right. Got it. Does this matter? Um, I don't know. It depends on just how long. The default. How how you, long am I going to be in a crush? How many rolls will I do down the side of a mountain? Um, it just depends on like or five minutes, how many so. like files you want to sort through and stuff yeah. like that. And I guess we'll do default three and mess with it. So record audio, yes. Exposure, you can so you can adjust the exposure, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to leave that by itself. What is WD? Uh, wide dynamic range. So I don't remember from the settings. I'll need to. So if you haven't heard of Vortex Radar, he's like the radar guru, like he's the expert. Um, but he also does dash cams as well. So he has recommended settings for everything. So I guess what I'll do off camera is I'll just, you know, look up what settings he recommends and just do whatever he says. I imagine wide dynamic range is pretty good to have on. Basically it makes like, it allows your highlights to be correct sure. and your shadows to like, you know, it shows more detail yeah. supposedly. Turn it on for now, date stamp, but definitely leave that on or else like, what's the point of a dash cam? Uh, Bitrate normal, time lapse recording, we'll set that off. Time zone, that's important. So we are... Four. Four? Should be four. Let me know when we look at the time. Date format, time synchronization. Are you sure you want to sync with the phone? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that will set your time zone for you. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that's sweet. All right, date format, day, month, year, like that. Boot delay. No, we want Good. that as fast yeah, as possible. Yeah, because it's already a little bit slow. Parking mode is off right now. Um, I guess I could turn auto event detection or time lapse. So you want to do like auto event, otherwise it's just going to constantly record. Yeah. When you park. And then timing, parking recording timer. 30 minutes. Enter parking mode time. So I don't know what, what are these different, so parking mode. I wonder what parking mode timer is after 30 minutes after you turn off your car. Yep. It turns on parking mode. Should be kind of pointless. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave that alone. I don't know why you would do that. Yeah, enter parking mode. Okay. Parking G sensors, high sensitivity, parking motion detection, medium. Front image rotate. So I don't need to do that. Rear image rotate we did. So that just flips the... The rear camera. The rear so camera it's upside down. Uh, rear camera mirror. Um, that just flips it flips horizontally. It. So, but I wouldn't want to do that, I don't think, right? Cause no, I don't think you I think that. right now the left is actually left. I think currently. And then notification sounds. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that all on. 
video source you could do both front both rear with the okay so you could pick which one's bigger uh -huh. and then um gps is on speed unit i'm gonna change that because we're in america to miles per hour uh gps info stamp speed and coordinates sure and then frequency why does it say 50 hertz um you want to do 60 hertz that's what i thought that's weird okay and then format we already did uh that's the wi-fi off the screen i'll change password i guess so i, can't, I don't know who's gonna hack a UFO, <laughs> but whatever and it also tells you the space on the card so yeah, it's a pretty awesome app. app. It seems pretty well built out for, I mean, essentially like an Amazon product, right? Yeah. Um, but there it is. So I could switch cameras if I want to. So now it's the rear that's bigger, or the front that's bigger, or just the front, just the rear, front and rear. And I can also take a picture. This is, what is this? Oh, so here's all the recorded files. So we've been here for a couple minutes now, and I guess it was three minutes a file, right? So mm -hmm. those are all the different files. Locked files, those are just the ones Bryce did, so I guess I can, uh, yeah. I can so delete Yeah, so when I save, so when you hit the big middle button, the yeah. exclamation mark, it's, it locks a file, so, so it can't be deleted correct. by a rollover. Yeah, and it's pretty um, responsive. Like, I'm actually very surprised at that, like how quick it's, it's doing things. Yeah, like over Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So sweet, yeah, that's it. I guess that's, so I could go home, which is this, or my media. So I have to connect each time, maybe. Got it. So you click connect, and then you, you're, you like, synced up with the camera. Um, Facebook, my media, so, and then update. So yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. I'm happy with that. Nice. Now I can just set it and forget it. And hopefully never have to open the app again, I guess, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> if I'm opening the <laughs> app, that means something bad happened. So... Or you witness something really crazy. Yeah, or or I want to record a or I want to record a mountain run or a <laughs> track session or something. But cool, nice, very good. Ten job, out of ten. Job <laughs> done. Yeah, yeah, job done. Sweet. Well, if you want any other stuff to do this, just put links in the description, yep. I guess, to the stuff Tommy bought for his car, and uh, you can do it too. Parking yep. recording started. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're back. We are cleaning up, and uh, we're not done. I forgot. There's this little polarizing lens. I'm not gonna show like how it goes on it. This one, there's two versions. Like I think there's one that clips on, and this one screws on. But basically, what a polarizing lens does is similar to like glasses, right? Is it reduces um, glare and like the reflection. So like, if it's shining bright, and like the lens flares that you get, you can see from like yeah. the sun and stuff. This cuts down on all that. The biggest thing is like glass on the windshield. You'll get like. It helps cut down on reflections on glass, so you can actually see what's out in front of you instead of just like your dashboard reflecting on the glass of your windshield. Yeah. So, yeah, so. there's this little thing right here. And it looks like there's a cover on it, so I can't scratch it right now. But yeah, it just screws on to the lens itself and then just peel that off. And done. Yep. Last step. Now we're done. <laughs> <laughs>